Hi again, boys and girls. I'm back with another story. Would you like to listen to it today? I hope so. This is a special book. There are some words in this book that are not in English. They're in Spanish. And most of them, you can figure out what the author meant just by looking at the pictures and listening to the English words. But if you get stuck and can't really can't figure one out, there's something called a glossary in the front of the book, which is like a little mini dictionary. And we're gonna put that in so you can look up some Spanish words later, if any leave you puzzled, okay? Our story for today is called The Three Billy Goats Buenos, written by Susan Middleton Elia and illustrated, who drew the pictures, is a man named Miguel Ordonez and published by G.P. Putnam Sons. There once were three goats, a brotherly trio. They needed to crisscross a fast moving rio, but under the bridge, lived a grumpy gigante with tootsies as big as a small elefante. That word sounds just almost like the English word. Elefante, does that sound like an English animal to you? Elephant? Troll's ojos were glowing. Her nose was a hook. She stopped kids from crossing with just one scary look. With three heads together, a mission was planned to get past the grumpiest troll in the land. The smallest goat, Uno, so inteligente, clip-clopped right up to the edge of El Puente. Hey, roared the troll, her giant head bobbing. You have some nerve and soon you'll be sobbing. Uh-oh. Please, said the hoof-shaking tiny cabrito. May I go by in a short momentito? How many creatures can pass me? Ningunos. You kids will be part of mis desayunos. Mm -mm -mm. He thinks she will be tasty. Wait, said the little goat. I'm not sabroso. Try my big brother. He's so delicioso. In fact, my small, small bones will stick in your dientes. Wait till the bigger goat reaches your puente. He's headed this way, over to that meadow of grass. The troll licked her labios. Mm. Fine, you may pass. The little goat crossed to the bank's other lado, then followed his nose to the lush, lovely prado. Along came the second goat, numero dos. Halt! yelled the troll in her scritch scratchy voice. My meal is before me, here for the taking. See these big chompers? Why aren't you shaking? Wait, said the middle goat. I'm not sabroso. Try my big brother. He's so delicioso. The troll rubbed her chin, both whiskered and warty. I heard a rumor that you'd taste good, shorty. The goat shook his spotted cabeza. Not me. These spots will taste bitter. I'm the worst of the three. The troll licked her labios. Mm. Fine, you may pass. The goat hurried off to the clover and grass. He joined his hermano, the two butted heads. They frolicked and romped like true quadrupeds. Then next came the biggest goat, numero tres. If the troll lets me by, what will she eat this place? And why is she so grumpy, Tres wanted to know. His gentle eyes noticed the gal's swollen toe. Stuck to her foot was a long, sharp espina. Ay, that must hurt you a lot, mi vecina. Ooh, it does look sore with that splinter in it. A big salty lagrima fell from her eye. No one has noticed. You're the first guy. The goat called his brothers. The troll needs a remedy. Please gather yerbas to soothe her extremity. Goat Tres pulled the thorn. He used his big dientes. That gal was the happiest troll of all puentes. The others found herbs, mashed them up with their teeth, returned to her foot, 
and put the paste underneath. Next, they picked frutas in an orchard nearby. A gift of manzanas, she said. I might cry. She was so happy when they brought her apples. The troll's scary cara stopped looking so mean, and she'd wave to the three as they crossed to the green. Pass, young cabritos, and don't pay a toll. We're all amigos, said their new friend, the troll. And they were all good friends after they helped her out. That was a fun story. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.